Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, subscribe to the channel. Uh, this channel goes over a lot of commodity type investments. I'm looking for investment opportunities out there. Uh, we monitor the market. We do short term, long term, uh, whatever term, just to see where potential buy points could, could potentially be uh, and where the direction is going short term. Today, I'm gonna go over Uranium Update give you guys some updates on what I think the market looks like uh, in, in Uranium. And again, Uranium, huge bull here. Uh, I think it has not never been this cheap uh, in relationship to all the other assets out there. So that's my my view take, my, my point on it, or my, my viewpoint on it. So here's Uranium, and we're gonna look at the technical analysis and the charts uh, here. So I'm gonna jump right into the charting. I'm gonna tell you what I think I see. Uh, what I see is I see a lot of I'm starting to see a lot of uh, bearish engulfings. So a bearish engulfing is this guy here where, well, this is a bearish piercing, but bearish piercing, bearish engulfing, where it engulfs the candlestick before it. We got a bearish engulfing, dark cloud cover or bearish piercing, and another kind of bearish move. Uh, you're starting to see these creep in here. We might see more sideways movement or a potential pullback uh, in Encore Energy. How big it is, not exactly sure, but usually when these guys start coming out of the woodworks like this all throughout here, uh, sometimes they like to pull back or we see an extended period of sideways movement. Depends on how many people are piling into this. Uh, but right now, these pullbacks have been mainly, to, mainly sideways, but don't be surprised if we see some downward movement. Here's Gobiax Uranium. Again, if you were just to look at this chart here, we're seeing a lot of bearish engulfing, big down move, bearish, bearish, bearish. So I think we're still in a pullback mode. Uh, I don't see any reversal points yet. So what I would be doing is I would be waiting to see if this thing kind of pulls back a little bit more. Uh, I would continue to uh, accumulate. Again, I'm not trading in and out of these companies. Uh, I'm, I'm just accumulating. So I think we've got a, we've got a nice big move here. We've got the sideways movement, and I think eventually we'll see some sort of uh, reversal point in the candlestick charts if one appears. But I haven't—I don't I haven't seen that yet. Laramide, just to give you guys kind of a, a wider a wider range of companies, I'm starting to see it here as well. See all these big uh, bearish kind of engulfing, so bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing, bearish engulfing, kind of bigger down candlesticks, we got a dark cloud cover here. So I do think we might head down either sideways or pullback still. Looking at next gen energy, it's carving out this pattern. It is getting contained in this pattern, which means we're kind of in this reversal pullback mode still. Uh, it's still correcting. And eventually, whenever this happens, we'll break out of this pattern and start to move to the upside. But we're still in this pattern. We're, just, we're still uh, chilling out. Here's base load. Base load is looking pretty good. Uh, we've got a nice downtrend break, nice big up day there, and then we had a little bit of a pullback, and we're retesting this this trend line. And remember what I always say: everyone should say it. Uh, it breaks breaks the downtrend, retest, buy that, retest, back test, however you want to say it. Uh, so that looks really good. Same with Can Alaska. It looks like we we broke out to the upside here. And now we're back testing on this line. So uh, that would be a good one to look into. Uh, Global Atomic, remember, we're looking at it from the perspective uh, of, of bearish and, you know, bearish engulfing. So this is a bearish engulfing here. We may see this thing go kind of sideways like this here, uh, maybe pull back just a little bit. Uh, but this thing's been extremely strong. And if you notice, we've got the nice big move higher. We get a pullback here. It's mainly just sideways. And we get another bullish engulfing, a uh, nice little candlestick here, and we're moving on up. So I think we're going to see maybe some sideways motion a little bit, uh, is what it's suggesting. Uh, and CCJ, this is the last slide I've, I've got. Nice big move up, pullback, nice big bull, um, up day, small pullback. That's kind of how this thing works. Uh, we've got nice big up days with the, with the pullbacks being less and less. We do have a little bit of a lower high here. Uh, so maybe we're kind of contracting into a triangle here uh, before heading higher. 
So overall, I don't think these things are just gonna power forward yet, not yet. Uh, we're still in pullback mode for some of them or more sideways action. So that's good if you're an accumulator because you don't want the price to, to you know move up on you if you wanna accumulate more assets. And I think that's exactly what I'm doing is I'm looking for opportunities, I'm accumulating on pullbacks or sideways motions and continuing to pick up shares over time. If you guys like this analysis, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.